Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room where everyone is welcome and we like to have fun every single day. Well, before I get started into all of the fabulous fun that I want to show you in this video, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video. Today is Tuesday. That means it's Toddler Tuesday. And here in the Jungle Room, we love to participate in Toddler Tuesday when we can. This week, the theme was put on by Renee at Renee's Reborns, but it is also hosted by Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery and Cena at Cena's Dolls. Three fabulously beautiful ladies in the doll community. And who do we have here today? We have little Salia. Isn't <laughs> she so cute? She's still in her jammy. She's just waking up, you guys. She wanted to say hello to all of the aunties, uncles, cousins, and friends. She's wearing her little soft fleecy Nike jammy. She just finished her bottle. Did you get enough? Yes, mama. Oh, isn't she precious? Look at her beautiful eyes. She has got such pretty, beautiful eyes and fabulous hair. It's it's um bed hair right now, okay? It's bed hair right now, but she has got gorgeous, micro-rooted, fabulous hair. But the outfit that I'm going to change her into today for Toddler Tuesday, actually, she's going to wear a hat. Normally, I don't put a hat on her because of her gorgeous hair, but this outfit is so cute, and the theme this week was um patterns and or wintery wear now obviously this outfit that she has on already does have a pattern it has all these soft little um white dots of different sizes all over and this gorgeous teal blue color a nike outfit just do it baby <laughs> so cute and soft i love these fleecy jammies on my babies it's really pretty with this little pattern, and she's so soft and snuggly in it. Aren't you pretty, girl? Yes, she is. This baby was reborn by Marisol at Marisol's Doll Nursery, um, a special custom baby for me. The only thing that I changed when I got her home was I added the eyelashes. Um, you guys know I love the big lashes, but I think she is fabulously gorgeous and she is definitely a star in my nursery um even with all of the babies that I've gotten I absolutely love this sweet girl um her full name is Marisol but I call her Salia so she goes by Salia but let me show you the beautiful outfit that I have for her guys I got this outfit probably like a year ago and I was so excited I showed it to many of my dolly friends when I first got the outfit, but I've never put it on a baby before. So this will also be a case of new doll clothes by J Dolls UK. It is so cute. I was so excited. Let me show you first. Here is the little onesie. It is a Jessica Simpson, so bougie in the house. I don't know if you would call it bougie or not, but I usually love the clothes Jessica Simpson makes. This is a little um, hedgehog onesie, long sleeve onesie, so good for the cooler weather, which in Minnesota today it will be cooler. Look at the little extra um, Jessica Simpson buttons here on the top. This is a six to nine month. She actually could wear... It depends on the clothes, honestly. Some some um, three to six months, some six to nine. It might be a little big on her, but that's okay. And then look at this adorable little romper or whatever you would call it. But look at how cute it is. It's this dusty pink color with this little ruffle on the top and a cute little hedgehog face. Isn't that adorable? The little eyes and the little hedgehog um what do you call it? Spikes or something like that. And a cute little heart nose. Look at how the nose is made into a heart and this beautiful dusty pink color. I think that's going to be so pretty. But to top it off, this is not a Jessica Simpson piece. But when I found this outfit, I also found this adorable hat. Look at this cute hat. It's a soft gray fleecy hat with a pretty little hedgehog on it with a really bright... um yellow and dusty pink flower in its hair and it's got the little poof of the little um 
flounce of fleece at the top. So cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to love putting this on one of my beautiful babies. And today's you, Salia. She's all excited. She's all excited. And then even I got these gorgeous little shoes. These came in a box opening with Riley, one of my babies. They've actually never been worn on another baby. And I'm going to put them on her today. They're uh, the same dusty rose pink color with a big bow on the top and these little diamond accents. So they're going to look all fancy pants with her cute little outfit. I also have these little socks. They're the same color of dusty rose with little darker roses on them. Just cute little soft socks. We'll see if those even will fit underneath um, the shoe. Because as you can see, one of her feet on the, she's the Benjamin kit. One of her feet kind of um, the toes go up in an odd direction. So sometimes shoes don't quite fit her or they fall off, or she kicks them off. Is that what it is? Do you kick them off, Mama? Do you kick them off? <laughs> She's so cute to me, you guys. But um, I'm just going to keep her hair in a pony. I'll just change the pony to a little pink pony. So let me do that first. She, of course, has her onesie underneath her little jammy. And she is the baby that is going to work with Mommy today. It's funny because one of my um, Dolly friends, Lynn who I have adopted some beautiful babies from, and she's just such a sweet lady in the community. Yesterday, when I said that I was bringing my baby to work, you guys, I always bring a baby to work. Um, always bring a doll, just because that's what I do. And she said, because I was talking about how I had a lot of well child checks because yesterday was a holiday. Oops. And school was out. Sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. um, and school was out. But she um, said, oh, I bet the kids loved seeing your baby <laughs> like the kids like the patients that we have coming into the clinic seeing my doll I was like um heck no <laughs> I just thought that was really funny so I just wanted to make sure that you guys know I do bring my babies but I don't like show them to patients or anything like that um I would not, you know, I mean, okay, honestly, there's been a couple of times, like if somehow, somehow, some way when I'm rooming the patient, we get on the topic of my dolls, which doesn't happen very often because mostly we're talking about them, but on occasion it has, like if um, somebody, you know, like you see patients every year, once a year they come in for their physical or people that might have a chronic condition such as diabetes or whatever, they have to come in every three months or every six months, or if they have, you know, something going on like an injury and they keep needing to check in or whatever, you start to get to know these people and um, they might ask you, you know, what are your hobbies? And if they open the door and I have time, which sometimes happens, like if the provider's running behind, then you have a few minutes to chit chat a little bit with the patients. It doesn't happen that often, but on occasion it has. And, and, or if they, I've never seen a patient bring in a doll other than a child. You know, I've seen children bring in stuffed animals and stuff like that. But, um, if a patient would bring in a doll, then I would mention that I'm a doll collector, whatever. So I've shown a couple of patients my doll um, that I have there for the day, but it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often. And they've definitely been adults, you know, who would like sanitize their hands before touching my doll. This is really cute. This is really cute on you, pretty girl. <laughs> So I just thought that was so funny. I hope you don't mind me mentioning it, Lynn. I just thought that was so funny and cute. It's like, yeah, I mean, if um, if I was out in public and a, a child wanted to see my baby, depending on which baby it is, some babies I would be comfortable letting them touch or hold. Um, you know, like if it's one of my um, manufactured dolls, probably they just are a little more sturdy, but a hand-painted doll you know, that I paid hundreds of dollars for. I'm not going to, you know, let a small child that I don't know touch my baby. And even my grandkids, you know, I did let them touch them, but I was definitely really watching them very carefully and, you know, monitoring them. They were really gentle, though, with my babies, actually. They were super gentle and sweet when they came to visit. And um, 
but I have plenty of babies that I would be happy for them to play with. Um, no problem, because they, they wanted to play with the dollies too. Actually, the main thing that they were playing with, well, I was going to talk about that in another video, so I'm not going to show it now, but um, it was some of my Grinch toys. They loved the Grinch toys, and they kept playing with them over and over and over oh my goodness look at how precious she is in this outfit let me try this hat this hat is huge this hat is huge but i'm just gonna roll it under a couple times oh my goodness do you see how cute that is let me see if i can see more of the hedgehog at a different angle that is so adorable pretty girl very wintry very wintry and she looks so cute let me get her little shoes on too. She is just such a precious, beautiful little sweetheart. Yes, she are, Salia. Yes, she are. Oh my goodness. And these shoes. Like I said, this foot though, she arches that foot and makes it a little bit harder to get these shoes to stay on. But I think, oh my, I think we can clench it. There we go. It's barely going to fit that foot. Barely going to fit that foot, but we'll do the other one here. I don't even know if you guys can see my shoe efforts. This foot is fine. It's just this um, left foot that arches on this sculpt, which is really cute, you know, when she's barefoot. But otherwise, it's a little bit um, hard to get shoes to fit. But there she is, all set up in her Toddler Tuesday outfit, the pattern of the hedgehogs, and a nice warm wintry set i'll show you the little shoes on her feet these are so cute and pretty precious baby girl all ready to go to work let's get you your bottle and i even have a matching hedgehog toy hold on let me get it look at how perfectly her little lovey matches her outfit this is a little um, hedgehog. I actually bought it on Groundhog Day. It was the closest thing I could get to a groundhog. <laughs> but this little softie's name is Bumper. The pharmacy at the doctor's office where I work has these. And when I go to get my um, prescriptions, which is migraine medication, I sometimes can't resist. So look at him, his cute little green eyes, little Bumper is going to be her little companion today. Well, thank you for watching my quick little video for Toddler Tuesday and J Dolls UK New Doll Clothes. I love sharing my babies with you. I love being in this community. I hope you guys love seeing little Salia today and that she brought some joy and happiness into your life, just like my babies bring joy and happiness into my life every single day. And we wanted to say thank you for being a friend. And what else do we want to say, little Salia? What else do we want to say? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Have a fabulous and beautiful rest of your day.